God bless you. Uh, these are the last days. And as it was written uh, in the word of God, that things will be messy and things will be tougher. And you yourself, you have seen it. We have had pestilence, we have had sickness, terror, war, battles, and all other stuff. But this message is for Kenyans. The days are coming where people will be thirsty, where people will be hungry, not hungry for food, not thirsty for water, hungry for the word of God and thirsty for the word of God. Now, there is a place in the Bible that Jesus mentioned and uh, he spoke about this issue in the book of um, Matthew chapter 24, verse number 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the day uh, of the coming of the Son of Man be. What was happening in the days of Noah? And what was transpiring in the days of Noah? There is so much that was happening in the days of Noah. And that is why I've, I've come to share with you this. So that you need to embark on prayer. Stop seeking things that are irrelevant. Stop trying to fix things. Stop trying to fix things. Stop trying to fake things and seek God in truth and in spirit. Let us see in the book of Genesis chapter 6 what was happening in the days of Noah. There is a place where God regretted creating human beings. Genesis chapter 6 verse number 1. When a human being began to increase in number on the earth and the daughters were born to them, the Son of God saw the daughters of humans were beautiful and they married any of them they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not contend with humans forever, for they are mortal. Their days will be a hundred and twenty years. Nephilims were on earth in those days. And also afterward, when the sons of God went to the daughters of human and had children by them, they were heroes of the old men of renown. The Lord saw how great the wickedness of humans race had become on earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human hearts was only of the evil uh, all the time. The Lord regretted that he had made human beings on earth, and his heart was deeply troubled. So the Lord said, I will wipe from the earth, face of earth, um, the human race I have created, and with them, the animals, the birds, and the creatures that moved along the ground. For a great, for, for I regret that I have made them. Verse number eight. But Noah found favor in the eyes of God. I pray for you that you may find favor in the eyes of God. We have seen there giants. We see Kenya. There are some giants. I've not spoken about these giants, but let me just tell you. This story about these giants is somehow confusing. The father of these giants are normal human beings, but the giants are so huge. How comes you become as big as you are and nobody knew your existence? There is no school that you attended. That is number one. Number two, you don't have an ID. How comes? And even the way you are, you, you are yes, we need to check on that. There is so much wickedness, occultic. They are fighting the church. They are fighting men of God. They are choking men of God from preaching the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Both true preachers and the false preachers are being collected in one basket. And now they are being punched left, right, and center. Listen to me. It is your destiny. It is your future. It is your destination where you will go is the one that the devil is targeting the most. The devil does not want you to go to heaven. The devil wants you to suffer and for you to go to hell. So I am praying for you that you come back to Christ. That's why in the book of John 3, 16, the word of God says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. I want us to get back to the altar. Let us go back to pray. Let us go back to seek God. And let us speak like Joshua. Joshua said, As for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. You decide which God you will serve. But as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. There are altars that have been erected in Kenya. There are altars that are not godly, but they sound godly, but they are not godly. Please, I pray for the spirit of discernment to direct your steps so that you may not fall into the traps. Guard your faith 
with your might, with your understanding, with your knowledge, and with your wisdom. And God will make you successful. God bless you. I am Apostle Mema Olson, a leader of God's Generation Ministry, which is located in Kenya along Thika Super Highway. May God bless you and guide you. I'll keep on praying for you. Amen.